Hello, internet friends. Welcome back. Where's my coffee? Shall we? Today's lesson might seem simple, but I have video called with enough friends this week to realize that y'all could use some serious help. Looking just a little bit more professional and definitely more presentable on video calls. Like a lot of people, I use Zoom, and that's mostly because trying to figure out my Skype password that I made when I was 18 has been like, but with the uptick in Zoom users has come an uptick in privacy concerns. User information has reportedly been leaked to third parties, and ID numbers are easy to guess, which is leading to Zoom bombing, which is now a legitimate term. And privacy advocates even see some concerns with how Zoom evades macOS administration controls to install itself on your computer. So even though I'm super comfortable with Zoom, I've also found some alternatives, like House Party, WebEx, and even creating a new account for Skype. We have a video up right now about all of Zoom's privacy concerns that if you're interested in learning more about this, you can check out. Now, before you can be on a call, you gotta set up a call. And there are great Slack apps for Skype, WebEx, and Zoom that allow you to quickly create video call invites within chats. And if you use Google Calendar and you wanna install the Zoom for G Suite extension, that'll allow you to select Zoom as a video option when creating calendar invites. Now that you've set up the call, let's talk about looking presentable on camera. Now there are some of you that are probably like, hmm, Becca, how are you qualified for this? And to that, I raise exhibit A, B, and C. These are three screenshots of me in meetings in three separate locations, looking pretty good if I do say so myself. I mean, number one, love the look. But number two, I could use those as profile photos. First and foremost, my favorite thing in the whole world, Get that good light. Open your shades and let all that natural light pour in, but don't do it dirty by sitting with your back to it. I recommend having your largest light source either right in front of you or no more than 45 degrees from directly in front of you. Also be aware that your computer screen might be the largest source of light. So adjust that too. You don't wanna be blowing yourself out looking like a little ghosty up in here, come on. All right, now that you got lighting, you gotta get your camera at the right angle. And there's only one option, eye level. I'm saying use a book, use a stool, use literally whatever you have to use, but get the camera at your eye level. Angles, baby. All right, I know we're having fun, but it's time to get serious. You can check yourself out, but do it before the call starts, not at the beginning, the middle and the end, or just throughout the whole thing. You know, and I know, and we all know, that you look the best on this video call. But we also all know that you're staring at yourself. It's not only distracting to you, but it's distracting to everybody else too. You wanna show up to the meeting already looking good. For me, that means opening up photo booth before the call even starts and making sure my background is like clear of dirty clothes, the angle is good, and well, I look like the damn champion that I am. There's also the option of using a background to completely block your surroundings. And y'all are getting like real creative with these, but here are my favorites. Yo, so good. <laughs> in the settings of most video conferencing apps, you also have the option to have your video and audio off by default when you join a call. Since I know I'm showing up with uh, incredible video, if I do say so myself, I leave my video turned on, but I am sure to have my audio defaulted to be off when I join a meeting. And you should too, but more on that later. Also in the settings of WebEx, Zoom, and Skype, you have the option to have a video preview of your video pop up before you join a meeting so that you can do one final check to make sure you look incredible. Now, when I'm on a Zoom call, I've gotten into the habit of just hiding my video entirely so that there's no temptation whatsoever. Give it a try, guys. It's actually freeing. Now, the flip side of that is that it's very easy to forget you were on camera. Don't pick your nose. Or maybe do. I don't know. Up to you. <laughs> oh, and of course, let's talk audio really quick. Most of us don't have a ton of control over this, but being in a quiet place typically makes for better audio. What is the vibe? Also keep in mind that your headphones might have a better mic than your computer. I have Bose 700 headphones, Galaxy Buds, the ones that came out in 2019, not the Plus version, and of course, the mic that's already built into my MacBook Pro. So I use the audio testing tool within Zoom to test out all of these mics. Okay, and these are the Bose 700s. How do these sound? And the Galaxy Buds from last year, not the Pros. How are they? And this is the MacBook Pro's built-in internal mic. I'm a little shook right now. I truly expected the Galaxy Buds to flunk this test, but they're actually not as bad as I thought. And the other two mics work great as well. So I'm in good shape, man. 
All right, friends, stay professional, even when you absolutely have not gone out of your sweatpants for like two weeks. Hey! Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you. And uh, since you made it this far, I have a bonus tip for you. If you're using Zoom and you're muted, you can hold down the space bar to temporarily unmute yourself. And it makes it feel like you're using a walkie-talkie or an intercom system, and I friggin' love it. Anywho, be well, and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next one.